So if you're not dealing with costly student loan debt yourself, you probably know that someone is. The problem is so widespread, it's sinking families into bankruptcy. That's what happened to one Colorado woman who is hoping a new look at the law will offer some relief. Paige McDaniel has a my, container my full box, of bills and uh, correspondence from Navient Solutions, one of the largest student loan servicers in the nation. So you can see we have lots and lots. Paige took out federal student loans to cover the cost of her bachelor's and master's degrees in business administration. You're always raised to the more education you have, the better off you're going to be. In addition to the federal student loans, Paige signed up for about $120,000 in private student loans as well. I started getting direct mail from Sally May, who had my federal loans at the time, and uh, offering additional loans uh, to help with additional expenses. She didn't realize the loans were different. Federal student loans have a fixed interest rate and manageable repayment options. Private education loans have a variable interest rate, and there's no repayment help. That one mistake is, is the biggest regret of my life and um, has hurt my family to the point where it would have been better for me not to get the degrees. McDaniel soon found herself in over her head. They wanted astronomical amounts of money every month. Um, I think at first, before the bankruptcy, it was like 1500 a month. She had no other option but to file for Chapter 13 bankruptcy. But even that didn't help. She paid on the loans through the proceeding, but still came out owing more than she borrowed. We knew that federal loans could not be dismissed, but the private loans were supposed to be. Traditionally, in bankruptcy court, any loan with a title student has not been dismissed. New York lawyer Austin Smith has a different take on the law. These loans that we're litigating, these are just like credit card debt. It's the exact same thing as if a, a bank gave a student a credit card. He argues that private loans that are not used for education expenses should be treated like any other personal debt and be dismissed in bankruptcy. We have not lost on this issue yet. Navient Solutions would not comment on Page's case because it's still pending. But in a court filing, Navient claims that McDaniel's loans should be classified as student loans and therefore should not be dismissed. It, it went from, you know, this is the solution, not one we wanted, but this is the solution, to we're in worse shape than we were before. Her payments are on hold pending a court decision, but the balance keeps ticking up. It's at more than $269,000. I can't breathe <laughs> when I look at it. It's just, it's a panic. Colorado Congressman Jared Polis has introduced a bill hoping to keep students from getting in the situation. The no before you owe bill would require universities to counsel students on the difference between federal and private loans before they sign up for them.